The other big thing that we have at Cripps Pharmacy is vitamin D3 cream. Why a cream, you say, okay? Well, all the overdosings of vitamin D have been oral, taken by mouth. The liver is a fatty organ. Vitamin D is an oil, and you need very, very little of this to be effective, so most of it will be hung up in the liver. Geriatric medicine or aging medicine deals with a fattier and fattier and fattier liver as you get older. So the older you are, the fattier your liver is. There could be genetic causes of this, adding on, adding on, piling on, accidents, illness, diseases like hep C, hep A, hep B, D, E, F, G, and these things are now identified. All these things cause the liver to degenerate. So when you swallow a pill of oil A and D, or just an oily D, it gets hung up in the liver. But it has to be released into the blood, which is water, oil and water don't mix, to go to the kidneys to get activated. Unless it gets to the kidneys, it will not be activated. So when you suntan, the vitamin D that's made in your skin goes directly to the kidneys, bypasses the liver. Nobody has ever overdosed sun tanning. And here in the Globe and Mail, on October the 14th, page A13, I want you all to go and have a look at that. A full page on what they're suspecting now to be the benefits of taking a little bit more vitamin D3. Obviously, here, let's have a look at this. This is something that the information comes from the Canadian Medical Association Journal. This journal, every medical doctor gets. Every medical doctor in Canada gets a copy of this journal. They don't read it, of course, or many of them don't. Or it's only a vitamin, so it's not important. What we need is prescription drugs, okay? This information was the result of a study in Calgary, which is 3,500 feet higher and a lot more sun than we get here in Vancouver. We get a lot of rain here. They don't get rain in Calgary. 97% of these people were deficient in vitamin D3. So what does that mean, folks? The 400 IUs that the Health Canada has cut off, that's the cutoff level, you go to any health food store and see if you can find a multivitamin with more than 400 IUs in it. See if you can find a calcium supplement with more than 400 IUs in it. It's illegal to sell anything more than 400 IUs without a prescription. You can get single doses of vitamin D3, 1,000 IUs. That's okay, but only by itself. Now basically, what I'm trying to tell you is these amounts of vitamin D are a joke, totally insufficient. Protect yourself. There's a professor of medicine at the University of California by the name of Dr. Cannell. He has found that in California, where there's a lot more sun, the minimum dose that he recommends is 4,000 units of, of vitamin D3 daily. And this is by mouth. If you suntan at the equator, in one hour, they estimate you'll make 10,000 units of vitamin D3. There are people there that suntan every day, 365 days a year. Some of them are fishermen, so they get the reflection off, the, off the, the ocean as well as the sun beating down on them. Nobody ever overdoses. And as I mentioned last year, they know that there's no MS, no multiple sclerosis at the equator. The farther north you go, because we live on a ball, the intensity of the light decreases the farther north you go. The farther north you go, the greater the incidence of multiple sclerosis. And now there's been published also, D3 prevents rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, scleroderma, and type 1 diabetes. This is all published in mainstream conservative peer-reviewed journals. And Generally, it prevents cancer as well. And the cancers that have been published, well, they're manifold. The mechanisms that prevent cancer is an anti-inflammatory mechanism. In fact, vitamin D cream has been used for the last 60 years for psoriasis, eczema, and skin irritations. And it works better than, than the prescription drug. 
which is a little tiny tube for a lot more money. And medical doctors who have used this on their family members tell me so. So basically, vitamin D recently has been found to be effective in preventing the flu. Dr. Canal, who takes care of an institution in California, found that those wards that were facing the sun had no flu epidemics over the last three years. The wards that progressively faced more and more away from the sun and the ones facing north in the institution, there were epidemics of the flu over the last three years during the winter time. And also, the reason that flu attacks you at night and not during the day is because it's well-established in academic microbiological research. Ultraviolet rays kill viruses. So here's a tip, folks. You know those little dollar bill or $20 bill or $100 bill testing little UV lights? This is enough to kill viruses. So everybody should go to Staples and buy one of these things. And you can sterilize just about everything in the house. Don't look at it directly because it can cause cataracts.